Alright, welcome back everyone. I'm going to look over a review today where uh, I'm going to showcase to you why standard technology with credit core is one of the best combos in the base game. So, let's take a look at our starting hand here against a relatively strong opponent. So, when you look here, the first card that you see that uh, should interest you is Advanced Alloys. And yes, we have Mining Guild, and so you might be thinking, oh, there's a definite synergy here. But you would be wrong, because Mining Guild, while it is very good with Advanced Alloys, uh, it's not the way I want to approach this hand, because what do I have for building tags? I've got one card that's not even super good for Mining Guild early. Water Splitting Plant isn't very good. Great Dam is still four oceans away from playable. Industrial Center is nice, but again, it just increases my steel even further. So I have Steel Prod, and then nothing to spend my Steel Prod on. And then if I take Alloys with that, I'm going all in on steel, and no way to spend it reliably. In my opinion, that's too all in, and is going to probably make you lose more games than you'll win. Instead, I think it's best to go with the best corp in the game, Credit Core. And so with Credit Core, what am I looking at here? Well, if I'm Credit Core, I'm seeing I have Lunar Beam and I have Carbonate Processing. Those are going to get me the equivalent of like 6-ish Heat Gen 1. And Heat as Credit Core is very nice because if you can take care of the Heat Track uh, through efficient events and through early Heat Production, then the O2 track is no problem for you because your SP greeneries are efficient as credit core. And uh, as a result, it can be a real bully when it comes to just SPing some greeneries around the board. And so, not to say you should skip advanced alloys, you should still take it, but you just shouldn't go all in on steel production like you would with Mining Guild. Lichen is a natural take because of the heat prod, it should come on soon enough. I skip Adapted Lichen, I think it's a little too expensive. I will obviously regret that if I find Nitrogen Rich Asteroid, but uh, NRA is not exactly, uh, you know, it's 1 in 208, no guarantee I'll see it. And uh, if I do, oh well, I still think Adapted Lichen is pretty expensive. And Industrial Center is great to teleport around. If I'm placed over here and my opponent puts a city over here, I can just use Industrial Center to pop over here and get access to these rebates. So that's why it's worth speculating on early. Might come and run into a Tharsis, who knows. Okay, I ran into an Inventrix. Alright, so we're going to go with our plan of just playing Lunar Beam into Carbonate to get 5 Heat Prod, but then the 1 Energy kind of like 6 heat prod. They play natural preserve, okay, nice uh, early card, and that's where they stop. Okay, so here I would love to take uh, black polar dust, it would work great with my heat uh, ideas. Also beam is nice if I had a Jovian tag, but it's always Deimos down, right? This is one of our power cards early on, this is the one we want to take. Uh, here, Ganymede Colony could be scary. Uh, eventually, GHG has the science tag, but uh, again, efficient cards are taking the asteroid here. Okay, so this is a tricky one. I take Lagrange, and I take Lagrange because I think that with two science tags, it's too risky to give him a playable third science tag that he might want for his AI Central. Black Polar Dust would be really good for me to get myself up to the 8 Heat Prod to just, you know, really roll along on that track. But in this case, I'm de-drafting a card that could be really bad if my opponent got it, saying I don't think he's interested in Black Polar Dust. So of these cards, um, I think that it is okay to speculate on Lagrange. Yes, I opened up Heat Prod. Yes, I'm leaning Heat Prod, but I'm not necessarily forced to go... Uh, all into the terraforming. I can still go engine if I want to, and the Grange uh, can help with that goal because now I'm at two science tags and could get a AI central online with that if I find it. Don't necessarily plan on playing it. It's a two MC gamble essentially because I could always sell the card for one mega credit, and it's not stopping any other priority plays for me this generation. Okay, so they play space mirrors. That's a uh, 
It's usually not a very good card. Usually you need to have a lot of power uh, needs for this card to be good and have no other power sources. So uh, yeah, I don't usually recommend that one, but it can work from time to time. And I just pass. Don't waste your money just because you have to, right? So I could play Deimos down. I'm not going to. I'll find better opportunities to play Deimos down for better value. They activate their space mirrors and play Dome Crater. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't uh, a great use for my asteroids to blow up some planets, this is why we wait. Uh, he places it there on the card. Uh, I don't agree. If you're going to play an expensive card like Dome Crater and use space mirrors of all things to do it, uh, be doing it for a conversion. So over here or over here such that it's easier to convert would be my recommendation. <laughs> oh man, Merry Christmas, right? Look at this hand. Stacked. I wish I could just buy all four, but uh, I can only take one. So what do you take here? Well, I love Ice Asteroid. I already have two space events in hand, and I already have some good heat prod. Optimal arrow breaking is kind of the standout. Uh, Ice Asteroid, I'm kind of hesitant to play anyway, because as in Ventrix, he could get kelp farming online really early on, and uh, I don't necessarily want to be setting up my opponent to play his power cards. So if he's going to have it, I'm going to at least make him play the Ice Asteroid. And then what the heck, right? Like here's the science pivot I was telling you about. So of these cards, which am I supposed to take? I make the read that is more impactful to take the anti-grav because anti-grav can win him the game while mass converter is just incredibly efficient. So yeah, hard to say on uh, that one. You could make an argument for either one. He's certainly closer to mass converter than he is to anti-grav, but uh, Gen 3, uh, not having seen much of the game, I think that if he found card draw and got anti-grav online, that could be GG. I'm already planning on pushing the heat track, so if mass converter comes online a little bit late, it's not incredibly scary. So he takes the ice asteroid, so in my mind I'm considering the possibility of him having kelp farming or algae. I take imported nitrogen here because space event more than 20, and I have optimal aero breaking value. So very clear pick there, and I get Mangrove back as expected. Mangrove's quite good when you're pushing the heat like this already, so I'm very happy to get that back in the draft, so I buy three. I play Optimal Arrow Breaking, I play the Asteroid, he had three plants, he no longer has three plants. He does the Space Mirrors again for Hackers. Okay, Hackers is not a good card if you are having to use space mirrors to turn on your hackers you probably made a mistake somewhere but okay sure um i know i am not very high on hackers i think that overall the cost of it which is don't don't think that this is just three mega credits right you bought the card for three mega credits the energy costs seven mega credits so it's a 13 mega credit card and then uh, it only gives you two production. That means it's going to pay off in seven gins. And it gives you minus one victory point. So, you know, seven, eight gins to pay off. Incredibly slow payoff. Now, it does hurt your opponent. So if your opponent is going a big engine setup and you play hackers on them, then it can cripple them and keep them from getting their combo pieces online, which would be good. But I'm not really going an engine setup. I already am kind of going a more terraforming setup, which is why uh, I didn't keep anti-grab, is because ultimately I thought it was too out of the way without any card draw in hand. And so, uh, yeah, okay, you can take me to minus four. keeps me from playing immigra Immigrant City, but uh, I already have my income from the TR track. I don't need to, I don't really care so much about losing a little bit of my MC production. I go ahead and industrial center him here to get titanium so I can use it for my space events. And uh, I think this is a mistake. Uh, I'm not perfect. I will make plenty of mistakes. And uh, I hope to accurately call them out when I think they're mistakes so that you guys can uh, learn from them. By going here, I am now forcing myself to have to go around Knock the City without Knock the City being accounted for. Um, I think it is okay 
to put it there because I have advanced alloys in hand and it's not a bad idea to use a little bit of get a little bit of steel production. I will probably find a use for steel production in the game and it's good to take away points from the city, but I think I should put it one over to the side. Yes, I lose four mega credits, but having better access to the oceans just seems like a better idea to me than getting four cash back. So that's why I did it at the time. I just think it's wrong because having to go around Noctis without having Noctis can be very painful uh, if your opponent has it. So next time, I think I'd prefer doing it one over to the south. I mean, it's to the southeast, so directly east. But I go ahead and use steel. I have advanced alloys. I think it will pay off this game. Raise heat, and we're on. Oh, look at that. Instantly get rewarded with an Electro Cat with that steel I just made. So I take it. Uh, am I scared of Inventor's Guild going to this guy? Yes. Am I scared of the fact that he uh, has a mass converter and I'm helping him turn it on? Yes. But Electro Cat's just so efficient for me here, right? Like, it's perfect to be turned on and played. And... Uh, Again, I'm not forced to go engine right now, and I am at minus four production. I think this will pay off sufficiently over the game that it's worth it, even though it is alloyed steel. So this isn't quite as good as it normally is. Okay, indentured workers very much helps out with the minus four I currently have. I can use indentured workers to play advanced alloys for super cheap to uh, help make everything more efficient. It is another science tag I'm passing him which again is very scary, but uh, artificial photosynthesis, not that good of a card when you have a uh, mass converter in your hand. So this is probably one of the least threatening science tags to actually pass to him. Uh, so quantum comes back, we don't give him back quantum. Quantum plus mass is a little too scary. So of these cards, I'm skipping on these two. I don't really need the power I kind of have it all under control right now with what I currently have, and uh, money's a bit tight. And I already passed on AGT as well, so <laughs> maybe regretting that pa uh, pass a little bit, but I think my position is still looking pretty good. You can't really expect you by Gen 4 to have drawn into every power science card in the game. So he plays the Ice Asteroid. Uh, just a naked Ice Asteroid like this seems a little desperate to me. I don't know why he did it like this. Uh, clearly he's going for planner, but uh, that's not exactly efficient development, though it did, he did take the two best spots for him, so good job to him on that one. But I just raise heat, get the heat prod, play the indentured workers, we get the electro cat down. I sell the plant, and I sell the plant because with advanced alloys, I think the steel is going to be more useful in the short term. I go ahead and use industrial center again, that's all I'm going to need, I think. Six production of worth of steel is uh, sufficient for the rest of the game. And uh, I play Lycan here. Just go ahead and get it down. Okay. So, in this situation, it's very annoying to pass him the ore processor because I know he has the mass converter, which means he could get this online really cheaply. But I invested all my heat. I can't let him heat trappers me. That's just brutal. This is the most painful card in the game if you have heat prod early on. People complain about Asteroid Mining Consortium. They complain about, you know, uh, Great Escarpment. Uh, no, heat trappers is the most painful card in the game early on to your opponents. Absolutely devastating. So, I can't give him that. Okay, so of these cards, uh, Towing is perfect. It is greater than 20 mega credits. It is a space event. That is everything we're looking for in a card right now. I go ahead and take the giant space mirror since he's been using the space mirrors. Um, certainly, the ore processor is also a consideration. I don't know which of these is more correct to do, but uh, eh, it's either one is reasonable enough. So just uh, towing a comet. I don't expect him to take heat prod, so no need to go for it. I go ahead and sell my steel because I don't have a use for my steel currently. And uh, with towing a comet, I have inclinations of being able to, at two plants, go up to six plants, and then like SP greenery, greenery to 
get a nice uh, conversion here. So I want to start saving my plants here. He takes planner, hired raiders, he steals my steel, rude. He draws with invention contest, and then business contacts, he's really digging. I'm not sure I agree with that. You have, you have 16 cards in hand, presumably you bought them because they were good for you, right? So don't, don't be wasting all your money on that when you have so little development going on. And you sell two cards, and then you use space mirrors? I'm so confused. I don't understand that at all. Okay. So real talk here. What card is one of the power cards of the game? Kilt farming. What is one of the reasons you would play Inventrix? Kilt farming. So what card do you not want to pass to Inventrix? Kilt farming. However, if you're credit core, what's one of the best cards in the game? Yeah, you heard that right. Standard tech. Standard tech is such a good card for credit core. Why is that? It's because every SP greenery from now on is going to get you seven mega credits back. That's insane. Like that's absolutely insane. In cities too. Like why would I ever play a city card with standard tech? With this card, all your SP greeneries, SP cities are more efficient than playing them with other cards. It's so good. And I'll probably get sabotage back. And uh, I'll be happy with that. Or maybe he'll give me kilt farming back. That'd be pretty sweet. So I take the GHG factories. Maybe I'll play it. Maybe not. And I ultimately side, nah, I don't need it. I have six heat prod. I've got Deimos and optimal arrow breaking. I think I have enough heat uh, in this game. He again activates the space mirrors. I mean... I guess I'm justified in uh, cutting the uh, giant space mirror because he sure seemed to need that power. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> really? All those cards and that's the best you got? Uh, Underground City, uh, not what I would normally use for space mirrors, especially when you don't have advanced alloys for it. So and then to place it over there seems not very good. So I think that's probably one of the game losing mistakes to my opponent there. But I'm not out of the woods because he has 15 cards still. So I go ahead and play standard tech. He escarpments my steel. I'm very annoyed by that. But whatever. I sell off my steel. Nice. SP greenery. Yay. I'll take my cash back. And oh hey. I'll SP greenery. Yay. I'll go ahead and play advanced alloys. So I can go ahead and open with towing a comet into a conversion. Ooh. Ooh. Tough one here. So, obviously media group with optimal is insane. However, also I don't really want to give the guy another science tag when I've already passed him so many. And card draw is incredibly important for if you don't have the tools to rush out a game to kind of go longer. And Insects is one of the best cards in the game, uh, if you have the plant tags, which I have one currently. So I take Media Group, and I take Media Group because I have four events in hand with Optimal Arrow Breaking. I really want to get as much money back as I can from this. Uh, not sure if it's correct. Honestly, I think Restricted Area is also very, very good here, and I would it'd be one of these two for me, I think. Insects, while good, it just isn't looking that good since I already have credit core standard tech. I don't really need to invest in plant cards because I I am the plant card with my current setup. So commercial district for me here, he has three steel prod. Just prevent him from uh, getting some development. And then I get them both back. Like what? He took rover construction over those two? Like... I mean, I guess he was getting it back anyway, but don't give me my choice of these. So I take Restricted Area. I think denying him more card draw and science tags and tile placement is better, and letting me get elsewhere uh, efficiently is worth doing. So now I take those two, and now I need to decide... Actually, I take, uh, I take res uh, Commercial District because of my steel... Uh, with my advanced alloys, I think I will find a time to use it. We'll see if I'm right. So I decide I'm going to greed with the media group. 
Uh, obviously, this is a little risky, but I'm making the bet that with the sabotage, that he won't be able to fund, uh, he won't be able to play an asteroid to blow up my plants. If he has virus, obviously he can, and I'll be sad, but, uh, I am rewarded. He plays rover construction. So, towing a comet, I get, uh, well, did you guys see that again? Let, let's, uh, see that. Plus four, plus three, plus three. I got ten cash back from that. Ten. That was minus ten to that card. Like, eat your heart out. That, uh... Earth Cat and Anti Grab. This is insanely good rebates. Okay, so he plays the algae. He also has that kelp, so uh scary. We don't want to put down another ocean, that's for sure. We uh sell now we play the restricted area, go ahead and teleport over here, get the two cash back. Let's see what we find. Decomposers, nice, good combo with imported nitrogen. Okay, so these cards don't really matter. I take deep well heating because power could come into play with commercial districts, and uh, I do have to steal. <laughs> okay, I don't know what he took over this. I haven't gone back and watched it from his perspective, but dude, you can't pass me this card. You simply can't. I get 10 cash back from playing any space event over 20. I also get 4 Titanium, which is Alloyed, which is giving me 16 cash uh, back from that. So essentially, this card costs me 4 Mega Credits to play, to kill 2 of your plants when you have Algae and Kelp, and get 2 Heat Raises. You cannot ever pass this card. The only card you could pass this for is for a Giant Ice Asteroid, or AI Central. And even then, I'm not sure about the AI Central. Like, this card is bonkers for me. I'll take the Geothermal. Sure, a little bit of power never hurt anyone. But I don't really need it. I think the Deep Well is enough power this game. Okay, he plays his Jove. He plays the Titanium Mine. He's making a push for Builder. I have Gardener locked down, and I'm looking pretty close to Terraformer, too. We'll see if I can get it in time. Oh, hey, I'll take my uh, 26 cash back now. Thanks. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 26 cash back? Look, count this up. I can play Deimos down if I want to here. I can just play Big Asteroid into Deimos down in Gen 8. Like, ridiculous. But I just raise my heat instead. I don't need to get too fancy. Okay, he plays the Noctis City. So remember how I talked about how it could be really painful going around Noctis City? So that's why. I think that's why it was probably better to have put my industrial center over here. But uh, hey, just goes to show you that uh, we all make mistakes. And uh, that's one of the nice things about looking at these replays is I get to revisit those mistakes here. Go ahead and sell my steel. Go ahead and take the Gardener Milestone, since he's threatening Mayor and Builder. He sells four to claim Mayor, which, okay, fair enough. So, he has a uh, Mayor, and, yeah, sorry, I, I forgot it in the game, I forgot it here, too. He had this random city down here in the southeast that I completely forgot about. So, when he <laughs> plays Noctis, he does have Mayor, he just has to sell for it, and I overlooked that in the game, because I just thought he had the two cities. I was, I had completely forgotten about this random city, so maybe there's something to be said for putting your cities in wild spots like that. So anyway, uh, two to one, that's not what you want to see when you're going kind of a uh, more terraforming game, but is what it is. There it gets me gene repair. The game really wanted me to go science this game, and I snubbed it. But uh, fun thermalist. I uh, I know he could have the mass converter. I know that he uh, could get some energy and heat, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think I've got enough of a lead on it already, and with optimal arrow breaking, I think I will win thermalist. So I take the gamble on that. It is a gamble, though. I'll be the first to admit. Okay, Virus, you're coming with me. You're going to make him very sad. Then what? Earth Catapult and Erbies? Like, oh, dude. Uh, so you don't give the guy that formerly had 16 cards uh, Earth Catapult back. So you cut that there. 
Uh, he's been using uh, space mirrors like crazy, so just cut the power plant. And uh, Earthcat's just too bad of tempo here. I have one card draw. It's not really enough to justify the cost of Earthcat, even though I get the four rebate to it. So in this case, uh, I just say I think I have all the tools I need with standard tech and optimal error breaking and Deimos down, and so I don't need to bother with you. And speaking of Deimos down, hey, those plants looked real nice. Shame if something were to happen to them. Uh, moss is fine. And he plays Artificial Lake right there. Kind of a weird spot, but okay. I sell my plant. I sell my plant because I'm looking at using the steel for deep well heating. And uh, I want to basically save it here instead of spending my plant. Spending it and uh, saving my plant. He plays bushes, which uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to play decomposers and then going to virus him. Is it a bit of a waste to virus him uh, at four plants? Yes, but also with four production. Next gen, he'll just open with an immediate conversion, and I wouldn't prevent that. I get three cash back because of media group. Isn't media group lovely? So I can deep well heating, get up to minus four. I can also use my steel to just right between his two cities, get a four cash prod. I'm no longer negative, yay. Uh, so it's okay. I think the move is reasonable. Uh, I think maybe it was too much of a gamble initially on the commercial district, but uh, it worked out, so I won't say it's a mistake. Just, uh, I guess I was in a fun mood back then, because I'm not sure I'd have done that uh, now. So I play Moss, go ahead and get the extra plant prod, and pass. I'm basically saying, I don't think you have the way of taking it, and even if you do, I don't think it's worth it, and then... Holy cow, GIA appears in my hand. I'm very glad it's in my hand and not in his, because that could have been devastating if he opened up with giant ice asteroid on me. So, better lucky than good. About all I can say about that one. Cut the science tag, because you know, we explained why. He's been wanting power, so cut that. And acquired company doesn't matter. Uh, with giant ice asteroid, if we didn't already have everything we need, we certainly do now. This game is over, and I got very lucky there. I will be the first to admit. So, space station. Okay, uh, you're just going to lose your four plants. I'm going to put down three oceans. You get your kelp farming down, I suppose. Congratulations. And, oh, by the way, I get ten cash back from that, plus uh, four, plus uh, four, plus two, so another ten cash. So, I just got twenty cash back. From that giant ice asteroid like what a stupid corp what a stupid uh ability i don't know how they thought that was fair and also yeah i think my thermalist looks pretty safe now i go ahead and convert for four cash back i'm looking at that uh six cash back right there so he plays his kilt farming i don't know what's up with that space mirrors okay uh we draw oh strip mine it could be funny with uh advanced alloys but we don't need it just sell that steel. Okay, I assume he has dev center, because why else would you randomly add power and then pass? I don't know. Anyway, everybody see, now that he's passed, we don't have to worry about getting fished. Now we can play mangrove. Play it right there. Beautiful. Oh, hey, we can standard uh, project for 7 cash back plus uh, 4 cash back. 11 cash back seems pretty good. Now with that, I have enough plants that I can convert for six back. Ooh, pretty nice. Oh, and I get the last temperature bump too. Very cool. Oh, and what's this? I can standard again? Oh, you shouldn't have another 11 cash back. Gosh, aren't greeneries for 12 bucks just the best? I should probably fund Landlord at this point. My opponent probably will be smoking me on Scientist. Uh... Miners looking pretty bad. Banker, I don't think I'm ever competing with him there. But, uh, so Landlord looks pretty good, I think. I think I'm winning the Landlord pretty hard here. 
Okay, these cards don't matter in the least. Uh, Subres, though, is going to be uh, six cheaper than a Ocean, though since I have Standard Tech, really just three cheaper. Still uh, the pick here, I think. Okay, imported GHG is literally uh, almost free for me, but I have decomposers, so I just cut the ants. Uh, windmills, again, since he has power issues. And just the ocean. It is slightly more efficient than standarding, so might as well do it. We'll place it there. And then, hey, we'll standard greenery next to it to go ahead and get the two plants so I can get another conversion. I am creating a three-point spot right here, and uh, this is kind of what weaker players will always do. They see three-point spot, and they go, ooh, 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 value. Got to put a city there. And uh, so he standards a city. Uh, yeah, you can't do that. Not when you have that amount of TR. You just can't waste your cash on three points. You need to develop your engine. So don't do that if uh, you have any better play in hand, which I hope you do with 11 cards in hand. It is a nice conversion spot for him, though. It is four points. It does get him uh, four cash back as well. So I'm not going to say that it's like the worst SP City I've ever seen. He did get a uh, six cash back from it, but uh, develop it better with the cards in your hand. Don't just do that uh, just because you see three points sitting there and leap on it. Like there's a two point spot here. There's a two point spot here. There's a two point spot here. There's lots of spots on the map. You don't need to rush for that one. So anyway, I'm going to spend my eight plants to get another conversion. And I go ahead and sell some steel. The Martian rails. Great card. Four cash back. Uh, only uh, four activations left before it pays for itself. I like to meme the card, but that doesn't mean I think it's good. Uh, so what do we do when we're credit core? Oh, that's right. We standard tech. Very fun. Very fun. Fair and balanced. We'll go ahead and sell uh, strip mine. We're never playing that. Uh, Vesta Shipyard. Yeah, I don't think that's the best card here. Uh, oh, what's that? Standard tech again? Sure. Up to 13. So close to ending. I was just two cash short. Uh, if only I hadn't bought that Lagrange uh, way back when, I could have ended this generation. So curse my past self for their uh, greed in cake, keeping this uh, previously. But whatever. If my opponent wanted to end, they could have with putting an ocean down instead of the Vesta shipyard, but uh, they still are holding out hope, so we'll go next one. Go ahead and just play the gene repair. It's two points, two cash. Go ahead. I am going to play it because it's efficient, so might as well do it now. Uh, these are nice cards. Um, fish is the card I'm going to take from him because I don't want to give him a one-point animal for any potential dumps that he could have for it. Uh, also, maybe some universe where it's a point on the decomposers so thinking about that open city you might look at and go oh it's such a good card for you though thread open city is great you get the four cash uh, rebate from uh, or yeah rebate from credit core but uh i don't have the power and i have standard tech so i don't care open city is a bad card for me it's okay for him though get some that martian meals value uh so solar power, just because he's been struggling with power, it has a point on it. I'll take the import of GHG, but I'm not going to play it. Uh, I calculate that with the fish, I think I am in good shape. So I will do just the fish. So he converts. Plays the Ganymede colony. So trying to go with a little bit of a Jove strat there. Earth Office, that's fun. It is positive uh, cash for me with imported nitrogen. I just go ahead and sell my steel. Hey, if you want to put down the ocean, I am all for it. Let's see if he does. Nope. All right, I'll put down the ocean. I have standard tech, so it's only one mega credit inefficient. I go ahead and play the Earth Office. We do our fish. We do our... Uh, 10 uh, cash back <laughs> imported nitrogen. So uh, 10 for uh, 2, 3, 4, 
Uh, five points. Yeah, <laughs> seems pretty good. Yeah, tundra farming is not going to cut it, unfortunately, in this position. And uh, I draw. I, first, I standard a city first, so I get my uh, seven cash back. And then I'm going to uh, draw. And it's nuke zone, so useless. I activate my fish. I did not get my decomposers. I am one short. Leaves me with eternal shame. But uh, it is what it is sometimes. So, yeah. My opponent with his uh, early algae and his uh, kelp farming and his bushes um, got two greeneries down at the end of the game because he won, he passed the big asteroid. Two, I'm a lucky son of a gun that uh, got uh, Deimos down and GIA and also he uh, passed me virus. So yeah, don't recommend getting your opponent's virus. At least I think he passed me virus. I think that's what I remember. Anyway, whole point of the game is that, uh, whole point of that whole tangent is that the uh, plant destruction cards can be very potent and uh, be very careful when passing them because of that. If you're planning on going a plant strategy, which it looked like he was, there's a lot of plant production he had. So he gets one conversion there. And I get my conversion there and to the end of the game. So 40 point victory. Uh, so it w I'm not showing you this game to be like, oh, you know, what a stomp. And I'm not showing you because it was particularly close either. I'm mainly showing it to make you aware of how potent two combos are. And that is optimal arrow breaking and media group goes insane with both credit core and IC. Interplanetary cinematics especially. And also credit core and standard tech is just busted. And that you get so much cash back if you can follow oceans with it. I was getting 11 cash back with everything. Like Plantation, that's a card in the game that's discounted with the science discount. And that's still cheaper than that card. Like, ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Well, uh, it's technically not true. I guess if I did Plantation for four cash back, it'd be one mega credit more efficient. But uh, the fact I can do one mega credit uh, less efficient standard projects anytime I want, just so dumb. It's such a I win corporation. Credit core is by far the strongest, and I know uh, I'll regret it when everyone uh, is getting to pick credit core against me, and I do not have it, and it will be not fun to face. But, uh, yeah, overall, uh, you don't need that many cards for this strategy. Uh, really, just the three key blue cards and then getting a bunch of really good space events. And uh, it's a very comfortable win with that type of setup. But anyway, I hope uh, this game demonstrated why standard tech is insane for credit core and why Optimal Error Breaking and Media Group are incredibly scary cards. You should be very wary of passing if your opponent happens to get a whole bunch of space events. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the game. If there's anything you want me to talk about or uh, any strategies you want for me to cover in more detail, please let me know. But uh, with that, I'll see you guys next time.